What's up guys, Brock here from The Modest Man. And today we're talking about how to wear light wash jeans. Okay, so you've probably noticed that lighter wash and medium wash jeans are pretty popular right now, uh, but maybe you're not sure how to wear them. Maybe you don't own a pair yet. Uh, so I'm gonna show you some example outfits and we're just gonna talk about how to wear lighter wash jeans, especially as a shorter man. Okay, big thanks to Mott & Bo for sponsoring this video, for hooking me up uh, with a pair of their lighter wash jeans to use as an example. If you've been following The Modest Man for a while, then chances are you've already seen me wearing Mott & Bo jeans. I've had a pair of their darker wash jeans for a couple years now and uh, they're some of my favorites. Mott & Bo is a relatively young brand, but uh, they've really exploded in popularity. And I think uh, there's a couple reasons behind that. Number one, their jeans are incredibly comfortable. And personally, I like jeans that are very comfortable right out of the box. And uh, Mott & Bo jeans uh, definitely fit the bill. Number two, I like jeans that are durable, that are gonna last for a long time. So they have to be made well from uh, you know, quality materials. Three, I think Mott & Bo offers a lot of value, you know, since they're an online uh, direct consumer company, they don't have uh, retail stores and stuff like that to uh, kind of inflate the margins. So you know, you're not paying for the label or anything like that. And then the final thing that's kind of cool about Mott & Bo that I haven't seen other brands do is when you're ordering, you can actually order two sizes and then return the one that doesn't fit using a prepaid label. For example, if you don't know if you're a size 28 or a size 30, you can order both and then just return the one that doesn't fit. So there is a, a discount and a link down in the description. If you haven't checked out Mott & Bo yet, be sure to do that. Okay, light wash denim has gone in and out of vogue for a very long time. So if you grew up in the 80s, you know, you probably picture like acid wash jeans and big hair and you can probably smell the hairspray right now. Uh, if you're like me and you grew up in the 90s, you probably think of like grunge rock and like Kurt Cobain and flannel shirts. And I don't know why it's extra popular right now. You know, maybe it has something to do with the kind of resurgence of 90s style. I really like lighter jeans because it allows you to use a whole different color palette in your wardrobe and especially for shorter guys you don't have to just wear dark colors anymore you know and i know we're always told that dark colors are slimming and dark colors make you look taller but sometimes you want to wear lighter colors like this shirt for example and it looks better with lighter wash jeans rather than dark wash jeans because as a shorter guy you want to reduce that horizontal contrast that kind of cuts you in half visually so with that in mind here are four example outfits featuring uh, medium to light wash jeans and uh, we'll go in order of formality. So starting with the most casual. Lighter jeans are perfect for creating casual, laid back, very fresh kind of outfits. For example, uh, a lighter t-shirt, in this case, just a light gray t-shirt and a hoodie, a navy hoodie. These lighter jeans from Mott & Bow in their skinny fit, which kind of fit like slim fit on me. And then a pair of uh, my favorite sneakers, uh, the Onitsuka Tigers. You could wear whatever sneakers you wanted here, you know, New Balance, Adidas, Converse, whatever. But this is just kind of a fresh, casual outfit, perfect for running errands on the weekends. You know, it is very, very casual, so, uh, you know, it's, it's not appropriate for work or anything like that, but very comfy, very casual, and, uh, you know, I, I love this kind of outfit. Okay, if you wanna step things up one notch in terms of formality, but still keep things pretty casual, you can swap a t-shirt out for a polo. In this case, it's a light gray polo from Peter Manning. Uh, I've swapped the hoodie out for a nylon windbreaker, which again, is just a little more formal than a hoodie, but still a very casual jacket. Uh, and then swapped the sneakers out for gray suede uh, chukka boots. So uh, again, very casual, very comfy, easy to wear outfit, uh, but it looks just a little sharper than that first super casual outfit. So, you know, this is still probably a weekend outfit. Uh, you know, where for going out or running errands or, or stuff like that. Okay, so stepping things up one more notch in formality, I've swapped the polo out for a button-up shirt. Uh, it's kind of like a heathered white button-up shirt. And then wearing a uh, navy blue uh, light quilted vest under a olive field jacket. Uh, and then swapped the gray suede boots out for uh, tan Chelsea boots, which are just a little more formal, a little dressier than chukka boots. So these are versatile colors. I have a lot of them in my wardrobe. So, you know, it's very easy to put together this outfit. And this is just, you know, still a casual outfit, but one step up. So you could wear this for, you know, going out. Probably wouldn't wear this to work unless you work in a very casual environment. And then the last outfit we'll look at is a little dressier. And I know some people wonder if you can actually dress up lighter wash jeans. And the answer is, yeah, you definitely can to an extent. I remember the first time I saw somebody really nailing the dressed up lighter wash denim look, uh, it was Tanner Guzzi. Tanner was wearing these slim fit uh, light wash jeans. Uh, oddly enough, they were also from Mott & Bo because I remember asking him because uh, I just loved the way they looked. And uh, he was wearing a white 
uh, Oxford cotton button down, uh, a custom uh, sport coat, and then these olive suede loafers. It just looks so fresh and everything fit really well. And that's, that's when I remember thinking, okay, uh, you can definitely dress up lighter wash denim and I wanna try that. So here I'm wearing a, a white uh, button up shirt from Jax Everett and it's got that contrast placket, which is kind of a nice little detail. The Mott & Bow jeans, uh, a pair of uh, perforated loafers from Jay Butler with a matching belt, and then a Gantt Rugger uh, sport coat. Um, it's totally unlined, no shoulder padding. It almost wears like a cardigan more than like a blazer or a sport coat. Um, it's definitely like a warmer weather uh, piece, um, and I just really like it because it's so casual. And I've got the sleeves cuffed just a tiny bit, and then I've swapped out my Wayfarer-style sunglasses for some navy aviators from Warby Parker. So it's a little dressier, but it's still kind of casual, still very laid back. You know, it feels very effortless. Uh, it's very comfortable, and this would be perfect for... Uh, you know, casual Fridays, um, or if you work in a casual workplace, you know, if you want to dress it up a little bit. What you're kind of doing here is you're just taking like a business casual outfit and you're just swapping out the trousers, like wool trousers or something, for lighter wash jeans. So it just gives the whole outfit like a different vibe, like a much more like laid back casual vibe. And uh, I personally really, really like it. Okay, so I'd love to hear from you. Do you wear light wash jeans? Do you have any? Do you like wearing them? Are you confused about how to wear them? Did this help? Uh, if you have any questions about lighter wash jeans uh, or Mott & Bow, uh, please let me know down in the comments. And uh, until next time, stay stylish.